Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. Today I'm just going to show you how to create a mechanical shaft. It's very simple, but people overlook the symbolic lines involved. So what we have here is just a three-story building uh, with a shaft in the middle. <coughs> if I go to my floor plan, you can see this is where our mechanical shaft is going to go. So all we're going to do is click Shaft Openings on the right-hand side. And now we're in a sketch mode. Now the first set of lines we're going to sketch is our actual opening. So I'm just going to draw here, and here are our openings. We can lock these if we want, or we don't have to. Now the second set of lines is the one I wanted to focus on, which is just symbolic lines. So these symbolic lines can, be, can represent the X, typically in the middle of an opening. And they have nothing to do with the actual sketch of the opening. They're just simply symbolic lines. So if I click Finish here, you can see we have some settings on the left-hand side. But if I go to my 3D and I pull this in, you can see we have this shaft in here. And this shaft can go through multiple levels and even roofs and floors. But the nice thing about it is that no matter what view you have, if the shaft cuts through it, you'll actually see this X. So level 3, you see it. Level 4, you see it. Oh, you don't see it because it's not cutting through. If you duplicate this or create a dependent view, so I right click independent, you can see you actually have a shaft. So you don't have to worry about copying detail lines all over the plans and you have different scales here and there. So it's a quick little tip. I hope it helps you guys.